like a well-planned military operation. What does that tell you? I don't know. What does it tell you? Subversives, of course. Yeah, yeah, sure. You don't think so? Well, I'll tell you this. It wasn't the sisters of the Holy Rosary. I don't know. Hard to tell where in the scheme is. Gold bullion, precious stones. How much is it possible to say at the moment? This is, as you may know, the largest jewellery manufacturer in the country. Uh, well, uh, over a million. Two million, ten million? Over a million. Over a million. Uh, have you spoken to uh, No. How many people were involved, you know? Uh, well, look, uh, uh, we don't know. We, look, I've told you everything I know about the situation at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go now. No, no, no. Thank you very much. John. Help me out here, Mr. Doyle. The most elaborate security system outside the Bank of Ireland, yet a gang of masked men Climb over the wall undetected. Yeah, but the wall isn't alarmed. The wall isn't alarmed? No. But the building is? Yeah, until I open up. It switches off automatically. Thank you very much. Thank you. What kind of vehicle is he? You must have more information. He's a beast, isn't he, Dad? Oh, it sure is. Will he come back? He better. After what I paid for him. What? Oh, about an hour or so. You see him circling around. You make sure he comes back home safe now, won't you? Sure, Dad. You shouldn't, you know. I'm hungry. Tony Maylow. Oh, for the love of Jesus. You trying to kill me or what? I swear, if I trip over the car one more time, we'll have them all towed away. You hear what I'm saying? I'm gonna give your daddy a kiss. You know? Bloody all them sweets myself. You spoil them. Oh. I'll give his daddy a kiss. Oh, those are lovely. So, did you shake your pigeons today? No. You shake hands, you toss pigeons. Right. Hello, how are you doing? So, how was your day? Ah, you know, same old shite. Is there any suggestion of paramilitary involvement at this stage? Oh, uh, at this stage, that's pure speculation. Ah, come on, Mr. Crowley. All the witnesses spoke of the military precision of this raid. Now, surely that's got to tell you yes, something. Yes, that's absolutely true. The raid was executed with great military precision, but there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever of paramilitary involvement, no. They seem to know their way around awfully well. Yes, apparently they did, yes. Was it an inside job? Well, I'm not prepared to comment on that at this stage, no. I believe you found... Yeah, it wasn't our army. Yes, we did find was it yours? It yeah, it was me. How'd you know? Where were you? In bed. What? All morning? Most of it. Anyone corroborate that? 
I'm not married. Oh, nice how it was just us who was pissed off. The manager of the O'Connor's factory said the Raiders apparently scaled the wall at the back of the building the night before the robbery and then hit in a door. Yeah, I guess they have known the factory there. I'm sure it's an accurate information about the alarm system. Your sister says we should get out more. Oh, really? This for me? Of course they're for you. I bet ours didn't spend all night in the boot of your car. <laughs> Give us a kiss. What? What do you mean, Bob? You're my wife. Well, when am I going to get it? Hmm? Saturday. Saturday. You've got to be kidding. That's no use to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is every need. OK. Great, OK, thanks. That's Morris down the garage. Says you might have something for us to look at. I can't park there. I can't park there. Come on. nothing more I can say Where did you find it? Down a crack of the seat. What's left of it? Head food. Just a guess. Hamster, maybe. Something that size. You well, how many gangsters in this city do you know that keep raising pigeons? And this is your evidence. Look, he doesn't have the resources for this kind of job. He's what? A low rent Dublin criminal. Are you forgetting who blew up the state pathologist? I didn't say it wasn't ruthless. What? I thought you'd like to know, sir. I just got a call from a friend of mine down at the branch. And the name that they're hearing is Martin Cattle. Really? Who told them? A little bird? I don't know, sir. Possibly the people that didn't do it. All right. All right. But I'll need an awful lot more than pigeon shit. Take him to get home. Well, quicker than last time, I hope. They look great. The expensive. Yeah, the good ones. Shouldn't be a problem now. Do you hear they're blaming us for it? Can you imagine? Not for long, I imagine. Half ah, for us. They're upset. Do you think I'm fucking stupid? Martin, I'm not asking you. You're not asking me? You're not asking me? Jeez, I don't believe I'm hearing this. Do you think I don't know how bad you wanted O'Connors? Do you think I don't know how much you tried? Well, you couldn't do it, could you? You couldn't fucking do it. Well, I could. Don't mess with us, Martin. Don't mess with you. And don't mess with me. Do you know who I am? What? I didn't 
say, innit? What do you think I should have given in to? What does that mean? Well, it doesn't end here, does it? Barry, relax. It's only the guards. Tell you one thing. Won't be old fashioned police work with this guy. We're not gonna fit him up then. The greatest robbery in the history of the state occurred on April 26, 1974, when paintings valued at 8 million pounds were taken from the home of Sir Alfred Boyd to Rusborough House, Blessington, County Wicklow. After an intensive countrywide search. Job done, boss. The stolen paintings were found undamaged in a rented farmhouse near Clonakilty, West Cork. Now, you tell me how the Gardaí getting these paintings back makes it the greatest robbery in the history of the state. Bastards! I was trying to undermine your achievements. We'll get them. No, we won't. Fair enough. We don't have the man and we won't spend the money and the story. Well, I don't know what we're doing sitting out here then. We should go in and raid the joint and show them who's boss. In your dreams and mine. Come on, drive. <laughs> Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you. Leave me alone, I've nothing to say to you.
Christ, Declan, Declan! Congratulations. You've just arrested an entire active service unit of the Provisional IRA. Yeah, yeah. You don't look very pleased. Hey, any time I can risk my life to save a leading gangster from the paramilitaries, you know? What's going on here, Declan? What's going on is Cahill is winding us up, and the IRA are winding Cahill up. It's about O'Connor's. He pulled it off, they didn't. They're not very happy. Speaking of O'Connor's... An arrest is not imminent. That's encouraging. The Department of Justice was just asked. When are these people going to realise that Martin Cattle is not just an ordinary criminal? He's not just vicious and degenerate. He's smart, resourceful, organised. And you're not. I need more than you're giving me. Shit. I think he told him that. <laughs> Hell, the cops are around. No, I'm serious. Clive, no way. <sighs> Martin. Oh. Forget it. What? Will you... Would it really cost us? No, Barry, don't start this again. Do you want the war? Did they? Uh, yeah, if you give them no option. Well, let them try. What they just did? Ah, fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> That's great. Go. Job's yours. What? You tell them from me. To go fuck themselves. No, Barry. Tell them this. We'll let this one go, all right? Nobody got hurt, but it stops here. You understand? You tell them to leave me and my men to fuck alone. Oh, but Jay's I'd give them a word I never got from the Brits. In those words? You think of something. <laughs> What's the matter, Barry? You don't think I'd let anything happen to you here? He doesn't want the war, Charlie. I mean, he's just stubborn. Do you know what I mean? But he wouldn't want you to think he just rolled over. Even a gangster has feelings. <laughs> If we could do this so everyone's happy, right? But you get your call, no one knows his face, and you leave him, us, alone. He said that. A cut of what exactly? A colours. Really? He's a Republican himself, Charlie. I mean, that's enough for everyone. Do you know that, Louis? What about yourself? A chucky or not? Huh? I hope you know what you're doing. the armed robbery at O'Connor's jewellery factory was the work of a well-known criminal gang. Gardy believed the same gang, led by a notorious underworld figure known as the General, was also responsible for the car bombings of the government's chief forensic scientist near his home last year. A Garda spokesman said both outrages are still being pursued vigorously, but our crime... The General? Well, no problem. Do you want to step ahead of me here, Mr. Kemp? No, thanks, I'm fine. The shagging general, huh? Waiting in line for his dog. 
What does that make a corporal in your army, eh, Martin? Oh, sorry. Generale. Oh, and, uh, speaking of armies, I hear there's one up the road not too pleased with you. I got nothing to say to you. It's not me you have to worry about, Il Duce. By the way, how's the wife? All right? That's good. Her sister? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a scumbag, Cal. What's that all about? Making me feel better. So you okay about everything there? Thanks, Barry. Great. Well, I'll see you Friday then, so all right. the growing tide of criminal activity in Dublin were being undermined by government indifference. He questioned the value of... When I was just a little girl I asked my mother what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said still in private hands. Like most of Vermeer's work, it's illuminated from the left-hand side. Quite priceless, of course. This way, ladies and gentlemen. The salon has been described as one of the most beautiful rooms in Ireland. It is the only major interior to survive from the mid-18th century and rises to a height of two storeys. But of all the treasures, this is the one that I would like to take to my desert island. Donna Antonio Zarate by Francisco de Goya. Painted in the 18th century, she was the daughter of a well-known actor of the time. Goya moved in those circles. And she sat for him about twice. Quite a beauty, wasn't she? Nothing coy about her either. But for all her directness, there's a sadness in her eyes that she can't quite hide. I think she's magnificent. You're having a laugh for what? What? Get in here. Think I like having my time wasted? What are you on about? Gold bars. There's not even a fucking bar of crunch in that motor. But there must be. I don't understand. Yeah, well, that's not my problem, mate.
Do you believe him? How much did we lose? Enough. Well, Pa, how's it going? Barry, how are you? Mustn't complain, you know. Get in. Jesus, Barry, I just got off the boat. Sure, it won't take long. Jesus, Martin, I'm so sorry about what happened. I know. Could I haven't done anyone. All the gold bars in all the world. Not to run off and away. Tell you what, some bottle what? Yeah, but you want that in. Well, we didn't deal with Barry. But when I find out who did. Do I have to watch? Get him to hospital. Make sure he's looked after, okay? Right, Mark. I don't believe a man could do that. I mean, how could anyone do that to someone? I tell you, if someone did that to me, I'd give him up. Not if you thought he was going to come for your feet next. Dublin. 
Spoke up from, did you? What do you want? How would you do a thing like that? You got what you wanted. You must be some class of hard man, man. Cal is up to something. What is it? Barry? For God's sake, I gave you a piece of a colors. I'm no squealer. I'm just a crib. No? Just want a quiet life. Armed robbery? No politics. Look, I thought I was doing us all a favor. Nobody wants a war, right? If that's not enough, if you want to go after the general, fine. Just... I've done what I can. Just give me the fuck out of it, all right? You're right. Dublin's a small town. <laughs> I'll know soon enough. You gotta understand where I'm coming from, Barry. I'm not a criminal. I despise criminals. I use criminals. Now, you climbed into bed with me, Barry. You can't dump me just like that. Let's keep in touch, huh? Who are you? Rachel. You bastard. Oh, and how was your day? What are you doing? This is our house. You don't live here. I need to talk to you. Rachel, this is between you guys. Thank you. David. I'll stay if you want me to. She doesn't. It's okay. I'll call you later. You sure you'll be okay now? Just make sure she is. Close the door on your way out. You have no right. So who is he? That's none of your business. Say what you've got to say and get out. I'll call the guards. You think I wouldn't? Can I stay? No. Rachel, please. No. Will you leave the keys?
It's nice car. Yeah, I was thinking of buying one. I'm sorry about this. I don't know what it is at all. Maybe the alarm's too sensitive. Three o'clock in the morning. Not as sensitive as I am.
Come on down. Somehow managed to cut the link between the infrared sensor and the alarm itself. And the effect of that was to make it look as though the alarm was on when in fact it wasn't. The Vermeer alone, lady writing a letter, is thought to be worth over 20 million pounds. Yes. Oh. Tired more, perhaps another 30. Not that the thieves would ever see a fraction of those sums. Art experts were making the point strongly today that the better known the painting, the more Barry. difficult it is to sell on That's, the black market. Has he ever let you down before? And they don't come much better known than works by Vermeer, Goya, Metsu and Gainsborough which may well be the only crumb of comfort for their owner, the former British MP, Sir Alfred Bight. Not that he was offering the robbers much comfort himself, nor did he have much doubt about who was responsible. Sir Alfred Bight believes a revolutionary movement is behind the theft and is likely to make a claim for ransom which they won't get. People should be made aware that it is not Sir Alfred who is robbed today, but the Irish people, because the collection is now in trust to the state. Listen, Haggerty, I don't want the ransom. I want to sell him. To whom, exactly? Why well, do you think I care? Martin, nobody's going to touch these with a ten-foot pole. The only buyers you're going to get are the police, posing as buyers. Go for a ransom. So you're not interested? I wouldn't mind the Goya. Ah, oh, she's annoying. The Guardia, then. What? Francesco Guardi. He was one of us. A big on Venice. People are kind of like, I know what you're talking about. Oh. You think you can move it? Well, we're doing everything we can, sir, but as I'm sure you'll appreciate... What Mr. Crowley is trying to say, sir, is that every chancellor from here to Cork has been trying to get their hands on a ransom. But not Mr. Cahill. No, sir. Wonderful. So now we're back to square one. 
Not exactly. I'm going to miss my flight. Go. One of the paintings has turned up in Amsterdam. He's called René Kroll. Small time middleman with a taste for fine art. Of course, you can have your painting back, but uh, yeah, first... listen. Forget the painting. What about Kroll? I need him in Dublin now. But Kroll's a professional criminal. Exactly. And if the price is right, he'll front this thing and lead cattle and the paintings all the way to Garda HQ. And I'll nail that little shit once and for all. He would go cheap if he agrees. And he may not agree. <laughs> and what? Go to jail instead? What you're asking is dangerous. All I'm saying is, it'll cost. It's not a problem. Plus expenses. What expenses? Oh, and how would he like them? In guilders or punts? I'll get back to you. I trust him. He helped us with the guardy. He's not a detective. After that. That's a feckin' great help. So? I'd still try and ransom them back. Good afternoon, room service. Okay. There you are, sir. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. Clubs up, lads. I want a receipt for this. Bleeding associate. I'm no expert. <sighs> no way. You expect my client to part with that kind of money without authentication? Good boy. How do I know you're not a time waster? Huh? I don't expect you to show me the goods for nothing. Yeah, you're steady on. You're right there. No problem. How much? Seventy fell. To look at them? We'll be in touch. I'll be here. Big problem. They won't wear it. Who won't wear it? The Department of Justice. You'll have to think of something else. Jesus Christ. I'm only telling you what they told me, Declan. Seventy thousand is too much. In two hours' time, an undercover man from Scotland Yard at Dublin Airport. Prepared to put his life at risk by posing as the Dutchman's art expert. Not to mention the Dutchman himself, even if he is a criminal. And you want me to tell them that my government doesn't have the bottle to put up 70 grand in show money? I thought it was time to bury the hatchet. Fine by me. Can you understand? It wasn't easy letting go. If there's anything I can do to help. What 
the fuck do you call this? It proves the 70,000 has been launched in a bank here in Dublin. That's not good to me. You don't seriously expect me to walk around Dublin with this kind of money in my back pocket, do you? Mr. Cale, my associate, has to look at these paintings. You know this. Well, he pays for it. He has to return to Paris tomorrow. What? He's a professional. He works. No chance. Look, the money's here. My client's waiting for an answer. Let him wait. He hasn't bought it. He's gone. Well? Sure. You're on. Wine collar Toyota camera. Eastbound Lansdowne Road. Right, everybody, we're proceeding about. What is it? About half a kilometer. About half a K behind the Toyota. Keep your eyes peeled and don't let it slip. This is Cessna to Unit 1. Vehicle continuing along Tala Bypass. Over. Too careful, you know what I mean? This is Jerry. He pulled up in Herbert Road. I've had to go past him. What's in the briefcase? Hmm? The case. What's in it? My equipment. Sure. An ultraviolet torch. What does it do? It shows up any layers of paint there might be underneath the painting. That tells you it's a forgery, right? No, that tells you it could be genuine. Only a forger gets it right first time. A bit bloody early, isn't it? They're still on the move. Over. I don't know why it went off. Don't worry about it. Cessna to Unit 1. Vehicle turning off onto Krug Road. I reckon heading towards Killikew Woods of the Dublin Mill. Say again, Bill, you're breaking up. I said, fake it, be Killikew. That's what I do. Over. Jesus. All units back up. Quick as you can, rendezvous three. Johnny Fox is okay. Tell them where we are. 
all units. Unit one, come in, please. Phil, call Crowley and find out what the hell is going on, will you? What's the... Just use the pop phone. Come on, move it. talking about? Where in the woods? There's woods for miles. God, she's fantastic. Is Jim, Jim just going on with it? And the Vermeer. This is Unit 1. Come in, Cessna. This is Unit 1. Come in, Cessna. It's all gone to shite. What? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, would you get on with it? It's a play. What do you think it's going to do? Land here. Is that torch thing? Really, this is impossible. After. Barry, we're out of here. This is Cessna. Can you hear me? Over. Cessna, this is Unit 1. Jesus Christ. It's you and me, man. I didn't risk a bullet in the brain for nothing. Lucky man. I make your own look. Yeah, right. What can I do for you? That's all I can do for you. Hey, <laughs> I, I can go somewhere else. Martin, you couldn't give the poxy things away. So you say. We robbed them first, remember? Oh, yeah. Climb in the sanctuary. Take the ransom. There'll be one. Have you any idea how much these paintings are worth? Martin, if they offer you 50p, take it. We'll waive our fee.
Did he have his chance? Oh boy. Brace yourself. It's a well-known radio black spot. Well-known to Cal, anyway. Who else? The local division. We didn't think to tell you. We didn't tell them. Excuse me? It was thought the fewer people knew about the operation, the better. By whom? By me. For God's sake, why can't you? What? Ask them for the paintings back. Are you willing to pay for them? This government doesn't pay ransom. And if this was Charlie Rice, would you do a deal then? But it isn't Charlie Rice, is it? Carl isn't political. That's the whole point. When are you people going to realise that Dublin is turning into Dodge City around your ears and it has nothing to do with the provisional IRA? Well, you'll talk to him anyway. Hmm? Oh, Do you want to stitch me up? Who did they think they're dealing with? Not even one of their own. Had to bring in some English expert with his magic lead torch. Nice. Landscape gardening now, are we? How long do you think you can keep this up? You can't sell them. You have nothing to say to you. I've been asked by the authorities to tell you they might be prepared to do a deal. What, the government? Give them back and we won't press charges. Cheers, you hate this, don't you? Dealing with you? Never said I was dealing. I live. So will I. Four teams, three shifts, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Where he goes, you go. Wherever he stays, you sit on top of him until he goes somewhere else. I want him to feel hunted in his own house. Which one? Whichever. And forget undercover. This is overt surveillance, up front and in his face. The general himself and his closest associates. Your team leaders will let you know who they are. How long are we going to keep this up for, sir? I mean, what's the point? What do you mean, what's the point? The point is to shut him down, to make it impossible for him to operate. He's not going to pull anything if he knows we're up his ass 24 hours a day. Yeah, well, the Department of Justice could live with that. We'll wind him up so tight that if we're lucky, he'll make a mistake. Oh, yeah. And make the bastard's life a misery. Excuse me, sir. The decision's already been taken, Declan. You wanted action, you've got it. Is that all you have? What's wrong with you? Nothing. What have I done? You can't keep winding these people up. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Martin, if you keep rubbing their noses in it. These people want you so bad, I can feel it.
Hi, Martin. I wish my wife was so understanding. How are you, Martin? Does the missus know where you've been? What's going on? There's nothing. Just ignore them. Are you all right? I'm fine. Stick me insulin in the fridge. How are you two? You fatten them up for Christmas or what? Get off my fucking wall! Call the guards. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know I got them here too. Yeah, Barry, Barry, will you will you calm down? They're only trying to wind you up. But no, no, Barry, Barry, don't, don't give them the pleasure. What's he doing out here? He's saying I've got your address. You fucking bastard. Pull him up, go past him. Look, it's a wind-up. He's just trying to get to you. He is getting to me, pull him up. Declan! Pull him in. You know there's no point to this. He's a dead man. Look, Declan! Get out of the car. Get out of the car now! This is what he wants, this is what he wants, can't you see? Get your fucking hands off me, right? Come on, shit, class. Come on, get... What do you say? Can you get a hold of yourself? Declan, Declan, what's going on? Rachel, go back in the house. No, no. Please, Rachel, just go back in the house. No. Just go back in the fucking house now. Come on. Come on. Get off it. Martin, the UVF, you can't be serious. Why not? Their money's as good as anyone's. Yeah, but if the river found out. What do you think? They haven't ever done business with them. The man known in the Dublin underworld as the General, and the man police believe is responsible for a string of armed robberies across the country. Most notoriously, the raid at Rusborough House in County Wicklow. You're Martin Cahill, right? Oh, there good are luck. Guys Here we go, lads. There he is. There's sitting the outside man. your <laughs> house in your car <laughs> every nice. morning. We spoiled my little light. Jesus, I never see them. I mean, 24 hours a day, wherever you go. I never see them. Seriously, I don't see them. Right, Martin. But why does everybody say that Martin Cahill is the general? I don't know. Someone else must be another Martin Cahill. Well, who do you think the general is? 
Is my army going? <laughs> Rumble. Oh, 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 but when are we going to see a penny from these paints? Yeah, I was kind of wondering the same thing myself, Martin. We I was reading you can't sell them. Nobody will touch them because they're too well known. I will sell them. It's in hand, all right? Now turn that sheet off! Come on, now. Let's go ahead. Do the rock. Point with the sheep, shaggers. Is there a new pope then, lads? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> Who are the boys? Fireboard, please. Please! Around the corner. Just around the corner. Where he lives not only in a house on an exclusive estate in Rathmines, but also seems to have constant access to a corporation house in nearby Ranala. This arrangement, apparently sustained by a weekly dole payment of just £92, has caused anger, even in the Doyle. Mr. Cal, the house was about 80000 and is also provided with a Dublin corporation house. Yeah, Finny. Declan, it's Glyn. Thought I'd pass on something I heard about our friends in the north. Go on. Branch tells me an interesting name has been turning up on wiretaps lately. Martin Carhill. Getting very cosy with the sashes and bowler hats. No way. Leave it. I'll call you back. Come on, we're going. I hope the Lord... Frank, you keep an eye on them. Matt will go with you. Okay, boss. How are you, Johnny? Want them all. Any one of them will do. Just to show we got access. Of course. Do you think you can all load them somewhere else? Who's the buyer? What are you, Car? It's our risk. It's our risk, too. Dealing with yous. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Mary, I don't trust them. I mean, these people. Barry, when have I ever been political? 
It's just business, aren't we? Look, if I hadn't told you, you wouldn't know who they were or where they were going. We're on top of this. Just don't make it impossible for him to do the deal. Let them go. All the way to Istanbul? Uh-huh. Now, you've got to be kidding, right? We played it your way last time, remember? Well, you wouldn't care to tell us which painting they're taking with them, would you? Well, you've got them under 24-hour surveillance. Look, All right, don't... that'll do. Pot of one's enough. Supposing they sell one painting and head off with the cash? They won't. <laughs> they won't? The first painting is a teaser. Believe me. We even have information on the likely buyer. Trust me. If you want your paintings back, you're gonna have to go with me on this. Will I call them a taxi to the airport or will you? Second. Declan. Yeah. Lisa Clark, RT. Yeah, finish speaking. Yeah, Mr. Finney. Hi. The two men arrested in Istanbul with one of the bite paintings. Wondered if you had any comments. Mr. Finney? Mr. Finney? No. No, there's no comment to make. by Gabriel Metsu has been recovered in Istanbul in a sting operation mounted by Scotland Yard. The painting is one of a pair stolen with nine others from Rusbra House in County Wicklow. Turkish police said today that five men have been arrested in the operation. Three Turkish nationals and, according to sources, two men from an Ulster-loyalist paramilitary organisation. Shit, shit. All five men are currently being held by the Turkish authority. You believe this fucker? No, it's not good. They were supposed to be doing a deal to offload the lot. The Metsu was the first, the rest were to follow later. So what happened? I don't know. There was a leak. They were spooked. What difference does it make? Yeah, well, thanks for telling me. I am telling you. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ, the UVF! Doesn't he care? Oh, I get it. So if we can't get to them, yeah? What did you say? Forget about it. Say what's on your mind. Nothing. I didn't tell her anything. I just wanted to find out what she knew already. Yeah, sure. What do you think? I sent them to the loyalists. I stole the paintings. I turned over O'Connor's and told the IRA to get fucked. Is that what you think? He's running rings around us, Matt. Get in the car. Charlie, listen. No, no. 
Fuck you, Barry. He listens to you. He doesn't. I swear. Jesus, you think this is my idea? Yeah. I think it might have been. Charlie. And Mr. Rice, we knew nothing about this until we walked in the bar. I mean, I didn't even know until I saw King Billy's horse on his arm. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I, said, I warned him after. I said, Martin, these people can't be. Oh, Charlie, please, no. I swear to you. I literally only went along for the ride. I don't know. What do you think? Huh? I mean, I had nothing to do with this. I want to see him. Right? Right? They always talk. All they want is a fucking handout. That's all they ever want. Whose side are you on? First the gold bars. Yeah. And then we start. What was it? That thing with the produce? Istanbul. That's right. The hell in the name of Christ the TV you know who those people were? The law told them. And who told the law? Ah, cop on, Jane, will you? What? So what would they do when they were caught singing the sash my father wore? Yeah, right. In Turkish. Christ's sake. Look, I'm only saying... The thing is, you have to ask yourself. Half a man, no. Who else knew? Because I certainly didn't. Bleeding glad I didn't. Yeah. Bring him in. Barry. It's for you. Barry, listen to me. Listen. You're wasting your breath. It isn't me you have to convince. <laughs> Fucking right, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Listen, forget all that. Just pack your bags and go. Airport. Hey, Haggerty. Gone somewhere. You ought to think about that. Yeah, Roy. You're a little high profile these days, Martin. They can go where you want. Stay with Haggerty. Okay, a million for all of them. What? Half now, half when they're sold. Yeah, it must be, Joe. The loss, no dribs and drabs. Do you have any idea how much these paintings are worth? To you? Fuck all at the moment. You thought you couldn't sell them. Maybe, maybe not. My risk. Well, my risk if you don't. Still up half a million. Fine. Hey! Do I say no? At antiques. British Midland Flight 113 to Heathrow. Have they got the paintings with them? Oh, yeah, like if you had them with them, we'd be letting them go. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the first time, would it? That's below the belt. Yeah, you too. 
Another of the stolen Vyth paintings, Madame Vicelli by Thomas Gainsborough, has been recovered by detectives in London. Acting on a tip-off, detectives swooped on a van travelling along the Euston Road. The painting is valued at over £2 million. Pounds. Police in London have recovered a further two paintings from the Vyth collection stolen from Rusborough House. It was announced today that the concert party by Antoine Palmadej was traced to a left luggage locker at Euston Station. In a linked operation, Scotland Yard later confirmed they had recovered Rubens, head of a monk. Acting on information, detectives raided a house in Borehamwood and found the second And Gardaí have confirmed that four of the most valuable paintings from the stolen Bite collection are on their way back to Ireland tonight. One of them, a Vermeer, is worth £20 million. The others are a Goya, a Metsu and a Bestier. Police say two Irishmen are being questioned following a steel operation in which undercover police posed as middlemen for a foreign buyer. Two men were arrested yesterday at Antwerp Airport with the missing paintings in the boot of their car. They are now being held by Belgian police. In addition to the four bite paintings, police also recovered a number of paintings by Picasso. A major beer smuggling operation uncovered by custom and revenue officers yesterday was estimated to have cost the state £7 million pounds a year in lost excise duty and VAT. In a joint operation, customs and revenue officers received almost £26,000 worth of beer in Tipperary. It is being smuggled from Northern Ireland by a group based in Tipperary. You're painted, Mr. Finney. Last refuge of the scoundrel, Charlie. I've been called worse than that. I bet you have. It's nice, though. What? I should be waiting. Aren't you?
When I was just a little boy, I asked my mother, what would I be? Would I be handsome? Would I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. When I grew up and fell in love, I asked my mother, what would I be? Would I be handsome? Would I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera.